Hello everybody, um, I'm just here to bring you um, this little uh, tag um, mini album slash kind of journal really. Um, I made this some time ago and it's obviously, you know, I'm just trying to kind of obviously make room really. Um, so I thought it was high time that I listed it in my um, shop. I don't know about you, but sometimes I make things and I really love them and I kind of struggle to part with them. So this was one of those kind of items um, that I have struggled with to, you know, to part with. But anyway, it's it's time to go. So um, it's a small um, book. It measures six and a half by four. That's actually going right to the um, edge of the uh, binding. And then it's about just over four inches um, deep because it's pretty chunky. It's obviously been um, bound with my bind it all machine. And on the front cover, I've got various layered up kind of elements. So there's some um, scrapbook paper and then there's this um, gorgeous kind of journaling card. Then there's um, a journaling spot here. There's the word notes a fabric flower and I've just kind of layered that up with this beautiful beautiful kind of blingy center um, and then I love obviously Eiffel, Eiffel Tower images so this is a frame with a an embossed kind of shimmery Eiffel Tower it's got some fabric trim down the bottom that I've just kind of put some stamp a uh, script stamp on there and some faux demonte trim and the edges I've kind of inked up uh, not inked up um, of use some sort of um it's like the inca gold but it's pink <laughs> so i don't know whether it was called inca pink anyway um so it's like a metallic kind of um painty type paste that i've just popped around the edges the back is plain um just with the scrapbook paper and the pink kind of edging and it's just got some lace trim in pink which actually is kind of perfect match with this pink um like that and then here on the front cover it's just got this black um kind of frilly edge thing um, and a little organza black bow and so going inside on the front page so the inside of the front cover there's a few tags here and they are put behind here that's kind of a tuck spot um, so this is like a vintage advert you've got a beautiful pink flower that I've just distressing to the word love and then this here, like a photo mat or a journal in spot. Um, and then here inside of the flower, there's this beautiful little metal charm. I can't actually see what that picture is, but I think it might be like a little postcard. Maybe you can see better than me. Um, but anyways, so that's on there. Oh, and there was also a little tab there on the side with just some ribbon. And then there's um, three little journaling cards that literally, they've just been distress inked and they just kind of slot in like that. And then on the facing page, there's a couple of little photo mats here. Um, there's a little bird cage and a paper flower, a journaling spot and a couple of vintage adverts and everything's been kind of um, distress inked up. And then you've got some of that ruffly fabric trim down the side and some lace trim, sorry, down the side of there. And then going over the page, there is, um, a little folding kind of flap um, booklet. So again, more room for either photos or journaling. There's a little crown stamped image up there and then um, a vintage kind of advert up here. There's some lace trim and a little fabric tab with a kind of big gem stuck on there. Um, and obviously in here, it's just kind of plain for journaling. And then on the bottom, this is just fabric ruffle again with the script stamp. It's got some pearl trim and this organza bow. And then on the facing page, there is um, a pocket which just contains a couple of tags. So, just excuse me, I just knocked the camera. A um, couple of tags, so more room for photos or journaling. And then here, there's various elements layered up. There's a couple of vintage adverts, there's a journaling spot, another little journaling spot, and this um, paper flower that I've kind of um, distress inked and put script stamp on it. And then another little flower in the centre. Then there's a little organza bow and some lace ruffle down the side, uh, lace trim down the side. And then here there's a little, um, it's actually plastic, um, but a little butterfly. I got that from a uh, fabric shop, so it was obviously kind of meant for fabric, um, 
kind of items. And then going over the page, then on this page there is a fold up flip like this. Again, more room for journaling or photos. There's a vintage advert behind. And then there's a paper flower here with a pearl centre. And then here there's one of my chipboard tiles. And I love this one. It's been glossy accented and it's got some of that Inca gold around the edge. Um, so it looks pretty there. And some of that beautiful kind of pink lace trim down the edge of that page. And then on this side of the page, again, another pocket um, holding another <clears throat> three little tags. So again, more room for either photos or journaling. Um, and then they've just got some stamped details on the back. Uh, and then um, that one's got a little flower and a little fabric tab at the top. And then here on the pocket, there's a frame with again, another kind of iridescent um, Eiffel Tower embossed image. And then a little flower gem and vintage adverts and then another one of those uh, little fabric flowers like what was on the cover with another gorgeous blingy centre and then there's some lace ruffle down the side and another organza bow on there and then turning the page here we've got again another um, journaling mat or photo spot and that one actually is a little pocket um, that you could kind of slot things in and then here again I've got another one of those big tiles um, which I've just popped this image on, glossy accented it and the edge is also in the Inca gold. And then another one of those paper flowers that I've just quick stamped and put a big blingy centre and then it's got an organza bow here and some fabric ruffle down the bottom. And then the tile is a tuck spot for this large journaling card. So that's that. And then here on this side, there is um, a little fold back kind of flip here held with the washi tape and um, that obviously more room for journaling or photos. And then you've got a little um, journaling kind of spot here with a layered up um, kind of postage stamp image and this that says one day. And then I love my butterfly. So here there's just a big butterfly and he's got a flower, mulberry flower in the centre fabric ruffle down the side and then on this page again there's a really nice big um, photo mat or journaling spot I can't remember with that yep that's also a little pocket so again you could kind of put more bits and bobs in there um, and then that's layered up with some different kind of images here um, that just kind of for decorative purposes really there's another paper flower down the bottom and that one again has got script stamp and it's got another one of those blingy centres. And then on this page, there's a little fold up flip. So again, more room for journaling or photos. And there's a little rose image down here, a journaling spot, and then a flower with um, a mulberry rose in the middle. A couple of items up here layered up and some black lace trimmed down the side. Love the colours in this book. I think it's very striking. Um, so on this one, again, you've just got um, a large kind of photo mat or journaling spot there. And then you've got a vintage advert um, that acts as a little tuck spot for this little journaling card. So that just tucks in like that. Um, and then the word love stamped on there. A mulberry flower. Um, obviously the vintage advert. Some lace trim down the side and some diamante, um, faux diamante trim. And then here, this is the inside of the back cover, um, this massive Eiffel Tower um, image. I mean, I just love Eiffel Tower images. So that's just there, like a kind of postcard. Um, and then it's got these couple of um, images there. And then there's this fabric ruffle down the bottom that, again, I've just put some stamp, um, script stamp on. And again, some faux de monte across there. And then there's a resin kind of um, flower stuck on there as well. Um, so just the kind of extra decorative details. And obviously you can see the kind of lacy ruffle from the back cover. Um, I can't remember whether this is a pocket or not. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a pocket as well. Um, so again, you could kind of put more things in there. Um, so quite a fun little uh, book. I mean, it's very tiny, obviously, as I say, but 
you know, very, very pretty, I think, and, um, you know, very striking. So, um, yeah, and obviously it stands on its own. Um, so, yeah, very, very nice little book, I think. So, hope that you um, enjoyed it. I will be listing this on my Etsy store um, shortly. And, yeah, leave comments below. Thanks very much, by the way, for all the comments recently and things. Um, it really is appreciated, and, you know, I do love reading them. So, uh, thank you very much for your support and for watching. Thanks. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.